This is Eldery Cover and I've got some C code here and this code I want to execute it and as it executes I want to get a, an idea of the, the coverage that we've obtained. So I'm going to click this button here. This is now going to instrument the source code. It's built it in this case with the MinGW compiler and we can see it's now executing. And we can see I can control this by typing things in. So let's type in S for start, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, B, E for end, and there we can see it's running and executing. Now I'm going to do Q for, for quit, and the program has exited, and we've now got to analyze exactly what coverage have we obtained. So it's just busy generating a number of reports, and now we can look at the results in a couple of ways. Let's look at the code coverage first. And there we can see the combined coverage we've just obtained, 70% statement, 53% branch decision coverage. We can see for some of these files that we've obtained as well, 100% MCDC. OK, let's take a, another look at this. This time, let's look at a coverage pass-fail system call graph. And this is going to show us all the functions if I scroll across here, we can see all the functions and see how they're interconnected. And we can see, color-coded, we've got full coverage for some of these functions. But for some others, we've got very low coverage. How much coverage have we obtained? Well, if I scroll across here, we can see, we can sort it, and we can see rapidly where we haven't got the coverage. For instance, here, remove last product, we haven't got any coverage at all. So let's run this a second time, and this time we'll see can we get coverage for this function remove last product. So let's close this down, and let's press again on the, the D. Again, it's going to build it, execute it, and this time let's do S, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, B. Now we'll do C for cancel, another C for cancel, and we'll do uh, R for random, Q for quit. Well, that should have given us some, some better coverage. So once more, just analyzing the results here, and now we should be able to see we've got increased coverage. So once more, let's start by looking at the, the code coverage. We can see we've increased it by 24% statement coverage, 19% branch decision coverage. And if we scroll down, we can see these various functions, and we can see exactly the coverage we've obtained. Once more, let's look at the coverage pass-fail system call graph. And again, let's sort it, and this time we can see we've got coverage for every function. We haven't yet got 100% statement coverage or 100% branch decision coverage, but at least for this function, remove last product, we have obtained the coverage. Finally, let's take a look at this particular function here, and let's see what coverage we've obtained by looking at a flow graph. And so here we can see a flow graph, and we can see exactly which blocks have we executed, and which blocks have we not executed. So very rapidly, there's a, a quick overview of LDRA cover. OK, well, if you want further information, then please visit our website where you'll be able to get more information and see further videos on this.